The following short video is intended to show you how to set the Tensidrino environment so you can start programming your own programmable head USB keyboard dongles, or as I call them in the rest of the video, fucked devices. The things you'll go need to download are first the Arduino development package, then Tensidrino, the Tensi loader, and the serial driver, and if you want to mess around with the alpha or beta versions of the Tensi software, you may want to try those as well. You'll have to use these for some of the newer features that Paul is developing. However, you have to get the serial driver from the main download site. Okay, as you can see, I've downloaded five different files. The Arduino development environment, which I've already extracted to save time. My library for developing fuck devices. Serial install, which we're going to need to install so that we can actually communicate with the Tensi device. This may not always be necessary, but tell it install the driver anyway. Hopefully, eventually, we'll have everything set up to where we'll actually be able to use our Tensi and program it. When in doubt, go into uh, my computer, device manager, and check to see whether or not it says it's currently enabled, installed, and ready to go. Looks like it's done. And we'll say reinstall using recommended settings. Not sure why it's screwed up. Alright, let's update the driver on this. We'll go ahead and search automatically. And this time around, it looks like it actually found it. Once that's done, a few extra odds and ends we have to do. We've already unzipped the Arduino environment, but we're going to have to add a few things from Paul at the Tensi Development Center. Go ahead and copy over the Tensi loader, and we'll go ahead and install the Tensi Arduino package. It's essentially just going to ask us where our Tensi install is and we'll point it to the desktop and Arduino 0018 in this particular case. Okay, it's now installing. And that's all we have to do for core Tensi development. However, there's probably a few extra things we're going to do. Oh, by the way, I'm using the alpha version so that we have all the newest features. You may want to go with the stable version depending on uh, what you plan on developing. Now I'm going to go into library and I'm going to add the library I developed for making designing fuck devices a little bit easier. There we go. That's extracted in there. Now all we should have to do is load up our environment. But first, let's go ahead and load up the Tensi loader. If we don't do that, we'll probably get a warning message later on in Arduino when we actually try to upload our program to the Tensi. Okay, let's go ahead and either create a new one or we have some examples out there. I'm going to go ahead and load up the example for not the Tensi Plus version but just the normal Tensi 2 version. We'll close that window. Alright, here we go. Now we may start to make a few settings. A few that you might be interested in is, uh, well, for example, if you uh, need to go in and set serial port, currently we have these three COM ports. Well, if I need to use serial communications with the Tensi, I might very well have to go back in to Device Manager and find out what particular port we're using here. In this case, it looks like most likely we're probably using COM port 3. As you can see, it says it's from pjrc.com, which is the developers of the Tensi. All right. That's all nice and set up. Let's go back in here. Tools. Serial port. Make sure it says COM free, just in case we need to use that for debugging. Now, let's go into board and tell it what kind of board we're using. In this case, I'm just using 
the TNC2, not the TNC2++. So we'll choose TNC2, and then we're also going to choose USB type. Now currently it's set to serial. I'm probably going to use keyboard and mouse most of the time. If you happen to want to try to use internal storage, you're probably better off having one of the TNC++ for this because there's very little onboard storage on the TNC2 itself. If you have the SD adapter, you can choose this particular option. However, since I'm just playing around with keyboard and mouse functionality, I'll just choose only keyboard and mouse and uh, we'll go ahead and do a verify and compile. This is probably already set to auto, at least will be shortly. After this kind of compiling, I should be able to upload. Oh, uh, something you should probably, I should probably point out is if you have the SD card adapter, uh, make sure you choose the SD card option. Uh, but if you don't have the SD card option, make sure you choose just keyboard and mouse. I've had problems before in the past where I told it to compile for using the SD card option, but I had dip switches hooked to there, and it will cause your um, tendency to freak out. Not anything destructive by any means, but essentially it won't function properly. So make sure you choose the right USB type for whatever your project is. Alright, now that it's all compiled, I can click the program button that's on the tendency itself. Which obviously you can't see, but this is what the picture would look like. It says reboot OK. And now, hopefully, if all's right, I should be able to just go ahead and use my Tensi. It's programmed and ready to go. I hope you found this video useful, and thanks for your time.